So welcome to STAT 220 um, for the fall of 2023. Uh, you should be able to get into uh, Blackboard and once you get into Blackboard and open up your course, you should see uh, something like this. This is your, this should be your student preview. So in your student preview, um, what you should be doing to start with is opening up this first folder, getting started. So if you up up the getting started, you'll see we have a video of greetings where I introduce myself. You'll have the syllabus here. This video here will also be part of this section. And then this is a video link about the Teaching Learning Center where you can get some tutoring. So even though you're doing things online, you can still do things here on campus. Uh, the Teaching Learning Center would be available for you. Um, so we have those going on there. There's also this video about how the ebook works in the study guide. So you'll be able to watch that video as well. So if you want to minimize those, you have the separate arrow, you can click on that and it'll put that all back up there like that. My lab statistics, all assignments, this is where you'll find all of your homework. So pay attention to the due dates of things as well on there. That's where you'll know when things are due is within my lab all assignments. My lab statistics gradebook, this is where you will use to access your grades is this uh, spot here. Um, I am not using the gradebook up on the dashboard here. I'm using the gradebook that's within uh, the my lab statistics. So this is a Pearson product actually. So eText chapter links, if we click on this, you will see uh, the actual book. You don't have to purchase it. You actually can just open up the book from here. So if I click on chapter one eText, see if it'll open up for me. I haven't opened it up yet this semester, so it's gonna take a little while longer to load. But once it loads, it usually loads pretty quick. So this is where I did most of my uh, planning is reading the actual book. So if you have time, what I would be doing is reading the book, especially some of these introductory paragraphs into the sections. They give you some insights of where you've been and where you're going. It'll help kind of uh, help you kind of understand how statistics is used in in our world, if you will. So you can kind of click on page numbers as well. So here's the actual first section, one, one, an overview of statistics. So it gives you the definition of statistics, things like that. So you can make your own notes and outline if you like to make your own notes and outline uh, by just reading the book and outlining, you know, like these definitions are really, you know, very important when it comes to testing and stuff. So keep that in mind that you can just kind of go page by page. Also, we have this little waffle thing over here, the little, some people call it hamburger stacks. I don't know what the actual name of it is anymore. Lost. But if we click on this right here, notice how it's table of contents. If I click on that, you know, I can actually scroll down and I can go to different sections. You know, so if I wanted to go down to um, 1.3, I can click on 1.3 and notice how that was exercises. So if I click on this 1.3, data collection, experimental design, it'll actually take me uh, to that area. So again, notice how we have, um, you know, uh, the book to read. You know, sometimes you, you notice how your little, it fires up here. I can, I'm not really sure what that does, but notice how there's an animation. So if you click on that, you may be able to get an animation pop out here. So that actually gives you some videos. It's like a two minute and 20, three second video that you could pull up. So that's one of the things the ebook has is it actually has little um, Easter eggs that you can actually open and check out more information. So if I click on the page, next page, you know, again, you have try it yourself exercise. So it kind of walks you through some things. 
So those are very, really helpful. Also in the book, they have these study tips. So a lot of times these sidebars are very, very helpful in this as well. So again, um, I encourage you, if you can, to read the book and it'll make the course more uh, useful that way. Something else that we'll have is in this here is also what's called the appendices. So if I click on the appendices down here, you know, we have some tables that we can access. So the standard normal distribution table, this is going to be really important uh, with our Z scores and things like that as we move uh, further into the book. So a lot of tables are going to be back here. You know, uh, Appendix B tables, we'll see a lot of those as well. So, um, you know, the binomial distribution, Poisson, I don't think we do Poisson, but here's that table for standard normal again. Uh, so if I click on that, you get the, the Z score thing again. But notice how this one has kind of more of what we'll be seeing in our book is more of this concept here. So that's what that's something else we can get into is the ebook for the class. So let me see if I can get back to my stuff here. Here we go. So all these are your ebooks. If you don't want to read the book, there are also PowerPoints for each uh, section. So if you like to see PowerPoints that kind of uh, summarize the material a little bit more condensely than a book does, you can use the, the PowerPoints. So you can kind of see, so notice how it gives you the big bullets here, like this, you know, the, the vocabulary and a not much bigger font. Notice how you can also download your, your PowerPoints and things like that too, I believe. So you can actually put them onto your, your desktop if you need to. Looks like they're downloadable. So those are the PowerPoints. So I'll go ahead and minimize all this stuff again. Go back up. Go back up. Unit one videos here, if I click on that. So I got chapter one videos. These are videos that I actually created um, that you can use um, to uh, enrich your, uh, your learning. So as we move further into the, the course, if I click on unit two videos, um, notice how there's a lot more videos early uh, later on because once we start moving into chapter three, it's getting away from vocabulary and it's going to start working on uh, actual math. So notice how I even work out some questions. So, you know, this is 3.4 question 20 from your homework. So sometimes if you're looking for uh, some questions to be answered, I will have videos to some of those questions out here. Notice 4.2, I have a, a show how that, that T84 can be used on question 16. So we have that going on there. On the unit review, again, I've got question number 28, probab probability distribution. So again, there are some videos sprinkled out here in this area. Once we get into unit three, you'll start to see people were having a lot more issues and I, I do work out a lot more questions. So notice how in chapter five, you know, uh, I kind of overview uh, some of the material, but a lot of I have just, I work out, um, I work out the questions, a lot, a lot more questions there. So you'll, you'll kind of see that happening. So you really want to make sure you scroll all the way down because I do work out tons and tons more questions. So keep that in mind. Also with unit three, I actually even do a little stronger preparation for uh, the, the exam. So it looks like that's empty, so I need to fix that. Okay, unit four PowerPoints, unit four videos. So I have unit four videos there again, and I'll say again, there's gonna be a, a lot more, a lot more homework and questions being answered here in that. Okay, 
minimize that. So exam four walkthrough. Now see out here, actually, you can actually uh, do a, uh, you can actually print out this document and you can use it as notes for when you take the exam four tests. So notice how there's an exam four walkthrough. Uh, so notice how, not only is it, it's uh, got the, the printable document, I work out all of the questions in the review. Well, not all of them, I should say. I work out all the ones that involve math. Actually, exam four, I do work them all out. Exam, exam three, I didn't. But exam four, you can see, I do work out all the questions for that one, looks like. So, um, final review. So notice how there's actually uh, five exams all together, the final review. Uh, I will, again, have a printable document, and I do work out examples. Also, if you're needing some tables printed out, there are some more tables to print out here as well if you haven't already printed them out throughout the course. Okay, so that's the highlights. You can explore these other things um, as we move forward. Okay, so that kind of highlights a little bit about Blackboard. So the getting started folder, again, if you click on it, it will open up more material. Uh, this is where you'll access your assignments. And then e-text chapter links, that's where your ebook is. And then unit one videos, unit two videos, that's where I'm building stuff. That's gonna be where my work will be shown. So hopefully you find that useful and best luck with the course.